Yeah, so when these two things interact, you'll notice the reaction might happen a little bit faster. And it's going to be an exothermic reaction, which means it's going to give off some heat. So try and look for some signals or some signs that would indicate that heat is give, being given off in this reaction. All right, ready with this one? So five, four, four three, two, one. One, two, three, four. say do it again, do it again. So what happened right now is we did a chemical reaction and it's really, really difficult to put all those things back the way it was. It's not like thawing an ice cube out and then you can just freeze it up again. So now these molecules have made new chemical bonds and so it would be very difficult to break them up again and then arrange them how they once were. So did anyone see some stuff come up the top right there? Yeah. yeah that's so, heat. so that was some steam. So that's an indication that some heat given off from this reaction right here. And how do these bubbles look to you? A little bit, any color on them? Yellow. Yeah, it's a little bit yellowy. And so because that's, remember I mentioned our catalyst was not perfect, so a little bit of 